Hello, welcome to this week's Bring Back Paper. And what I wanted to do for you this week, which I might do as a regular feature, I haven't decided yet, let me know if you want me to in comments, is share with you um, my mailbox basically for January. These are all the papery types of things that I've had through the post this month. So it's bits of stationery, snail mail, stickers, books, that type of thing. So I will get straight on and just whiz you through it all, share with you my thoughts on it, um, and let me know. I, I love hearing from you, so let me know if there's any of this that you've read, that you've seen, that you've got any questions about, and I'll let you know. Right, look, it's just a mass. It's a mass. Let me move my mass. Okay, let me do... Do, 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 do... Right, so, a few kids' books first, then. So we've had um, these DC... Superhero Girls, which are out from Puffin this month. There's a new series started, and the first one is Wonder Woman at Superhero High. Um, it's quite... My daughter hasn't read this yet. She's seven. Um, but she reads... She probably reads um, a couple of years above her age. I would say that's for a little bit older. Um, eight plus, I would probably say. I, haven't, I don't think I've got the press release, actually, to see. But she was really excited to receive that. Um, she's also got then they've got this scribble book that comes with it which is just fabulous it's got all sorts of different things in there like what can you do while you're flying sleepover prep what would you do if you've got superheroes coming superhero codes all sorts of activities in there and then she also had this power up um, activity book as well which she has by the looks of it yeah she started to do that yes she's done loads of these so that she absolutely loves. She was straight on that the instant she got in. Um, so those are brilliant. As I say, they're all from Puffin. So thanks for the guys there at Penguin that sent me those. I then also got this book here. Is the camera not? Hang on, I'll put you up a little bit. Which is um, Edie by Sophie Hen. This is out, I think this is out next week. But it's a really sweet picture book. As you can see, the illustrations are lovely. Uh, and the gist of it, which I know every parent will be familiar with, is that she loves being helpful. And of course, her being helpful isn't necessarily that helpful. But it's really sweet. I like the illustrations of that. It feels quite um, sort of 1950s almost. I love it. So that's ED, which I've had as well. She has then had this one, which is the first Pet Defenders book, Attack of the Alien Dung. These are out, I think, week commencing the 6th um, from Stripes, Little Tiger Group. They sent this one to me, so we thought, she's already read this one. I think this is for, I think they're recommending 6 to 8 year olds. Uh, it's 5 99 And she absolutely loved it. So, I mean, look... At alien, alien Dung. She was straight on that, giggling away. This is one that I know I'll keep for when my son's a little bit older as well and he can read it because anything to do with poo, it's a hit, isn't it? Every single time. Um, the fact that it's also pet defenders. Um, my daughter likes any sort of, she really enjoys reading pet and animal stories. So it's like a great combination for both, really. So she really enjoyed that one. Definitely recommend that. Um, and I'm sure uh, she'll be looking out for the new ones as well afterwards. So we have that. Those are the kids' books done. Shall I go... Do you know what? I'm going to break now and go for stationery. Boop, 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 boop. I had this. Can you see it's engraved? Can you see that? Jay Redding on it. That's me. Um, this is a uh, ballpoint... New Parker Pen rebrand. They've rebranded their IM range. Um, this one, they do it as fountain pens. They do it as rollerballs and ballpoints. Uh, I've got this one. You've probably seen it. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen some of these bits and bobs. Um, but this is beautiful. Really nice to write with. So I've had that, which I was quite excited about, as you can imagine. I've then had these, which arrived today, which are from... Whoop, Sticker swaps. Uh, I've shared them uh, on the blog before. I'm not sure whether I've shared them here before, but I have mentioned them on the blog before. Um, but basically, it's like a subscription service, so you get a variety of stickers through. Um, so I've had these ones, and I like the fact there is a real mix of them. I mean, this, my daughter's going to love this. My son's going to love. So I'm not actually going to get a look in, am I, with these stickers? Um, 
but it's a real mixture as well but they're all um, really nice quality that's the thing you'll notice about these they feel nice and thick so I've had whoops I've lost I've lost a cat I've had those stickers from sticker swaps thanks guys uh, I've then had my snail mail so if you write to me you will see yourself here your little letter that would have been from Hannah it's from Emily it's from Linos and then these two are both from Louise over in Wales as you know if you read my blog you will know that I'm a huge advocate of snail mail I think it's a lovely thing to just get in the post nicer than bills cheers you up and it's really relaxing sitting there and writing it as well so I've had those for you this month. So thank you, ladies. It's lovely hearing all of your news. And then I have had some books. This one was, I pre-ordered this ages ago. If Julia Quinn writes something, I'll pre-order it. She is um, one of my favorite authors. Um, and as you can see, this is an anthology. I bought a few of her anthologies before and I always enjoyed them. I've yet to read it. It came a couple of weeks ago, um, but I'm looking forward to that. She writes, it's like Regency Romance Historical Fiction, which is one of my favourite genres. Um, so I know that as soon as I read it, I will love it. It will transport me to a new world. So I have that. I then bought, uh, because I saw it um, on a Hayley from Holmes blog. She mentioned this um, as one of the books that she really enjoyed. And I thought, oh yes, after I've been reading, which you've probably seen, um, the Hooger books, if that's how you say it. Um, I like the look of this one. So, The Year of Living Danishly, Uncovering the Secrets of the World's Happiest Country. Just, just read it. That's what I'm saying to you. Just read this book. Buy it, go to the library. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it really makes you think. It's crammed full of facts um, about Denmark and also the, how it compares to the rest of the world. It's interesting to to really understand how their society works. Um, and it's so different to ours, and it's strange to imagine that that's um, coexisting really at the same time. Um, and she, and it's funny, it's like proper laugh out loud, fun to read. Um, so I really enjoyed that one. Uh, let me know if you've read that, I'd love to know what you thought of it. Um, I then ordered this, The Alchemist, which my bookmark is in there, I just started that last night. Hopefully I'll finish that in the next couple of um, days. Um, I've seen this mentioned by a few people as one of their favourite books, an inspirational read. And I think the final person that I saw mention it was Will Smith. I know, random. I do like Will Smith. I don't normally take book recommendations from him. But he said this was his favourite book. And I thought, actually, a few people have said it. I quite fancy finding out why it's people's favourite books. Um, it's supposed to be... Well, it says here, uh, a transforming no novel about the essential wisdom of listening to our hearts, learning to read the omens strewn along life's path, and above all, following our dreams. I think it's supposed to be um, an inspirational read. And actually today, I'm filming this now, Monday afternoon. This will be live for you guys Wednesday. And on the blog on Wednesday, I'll be talking about some inspirational reads. Boop, 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 boop. But um, I'm interested in these ones and, and also some of the ones. And no doubt I'll have finished it by then. So I'll probably share a little bit more there. Um, but so far, it's a strange one because I've read a few pages and it's like nothing's happening. And yet I'm really interested and it's playing on my mind. So um, looking forward to finishing that one. And the last thing that I have had, which I have just Instagram, so if you follow me there, you'll have seen this. This has come in the post today, so thanks for sending me this, guys. Um, this is the happiest kids in the world, bringing up children the Dutch way. This was something that I had heard about, I think I heard um, it on Radio 2 a couple of weeks ago, so got in touch to see if I could get a copy to review, um, and the guys kindly sent it to me, um, fabulous ladies. I have just, as I say, it's just come, um, and I've just read the introduction, and already I'm like, right, I need to go and film this vlog, because I just want to sit and read this. My son's not going to be happy, he wants to play Lego. Um, but it looks absolutely fascinating, really talking about the difference, and it's talking about family values, um, and how happy they are, how different the education system is, how non-competitive the parenting is compared to the U US and UK, how there's less pressure, 
Um, primary school kids don't get homework. The work-life balance is better. I think the average working week, it said there in the intro, was about 29 hours. Which is, I think, the UK is something like 42, which I know from reading this one. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to reading that. Understanding what it is that's making these kids um, the happiest in the world. And also taking some tips from it. Seeing what they're suggesting makes a real difference. Um, so I will report back to you on this one. Let me know if you've read this one or seen anything about it. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. So that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. So I've had these things coming in the post. Um, that one was sent to me. Thank you very much, ladies. These ones I bought this month. Then my snail mail. Beautiful pen. This came from Pen Heaven. Uh, so thanks for the team there at Pen Heaven. I know that you'll have seen that on Instagram if you follow me there. Some pretty stickers, which my children will probably steal. Um, this, my girl says, read it. If you've got a kid, same sort of age, read it. Uh, it's a gorgeous picture book. And these fabulous DC books. So that's me. That's all my papery things that I've had this month. I hope you enjoy watching. Love to hear from you if you are familiar with any of this. Or if you've had loads of snail mail, do tell me. I love to hear from fellow snail mailers. Um, papery uploads every Wednesday. Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy watching this. And click to subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.